high in the French Alps on the shoulder of Mont Blanc. A team of French scientists are drilling into the past. Each layer of ice, laid down over 150 years, gives them clues. From them, gas concentrations and pollutants in the atmosphere can be calculated. It's a valuable source of information, but one that's under threat. The key point is that these glaciers are affected now by global warming. So they are warming up very fast, and at some point they will be unsuitable for ice core science. So we're in this process of recovering ice cores before it is too late, and then to store them on the long term for future generations of scientists. The scientists are flying the ice cores back to their labs in Grenoble. But that's just the first stop. They have an altogether more ambitious plan to preserve them. Along with the cores taken from the French Alps, the project hopes to also drill on glaciers on the Swiss-Italian border. They're planning to take ice cores from the Tibetan Plateau and one site near Mount Everest. The team are also looking to take cores from two sites in South America, in Bolivia and Peru. And finally, from a glacier on the side of Mount Cook in New Zealand. Their plan is to then ship their findings to one of the most isolated places on Earth, Concordia Station on the Antarctic Plateau. At Concordia Station, in the snow, the mean annual temperature is minus 54 degrees Celsius. It's a natural freezer, the best one on the planet. And uh, even because of global warming, it will warm up, but uh, we are safe for millennia probably. Antarctica was also chosen as its isolation will actually stop scientists from accessing the ice cores. All but the most determined will be able to do new experiments on them, thus preserving them from both climate change and from the scientists themselves. The project has attracted initial private funding, but the researchers say more money is needed to continue and to construct an ice storage cave they hope will house the ice cores by 2020. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.